In this tutorial, we'll take a look at factorial notation. And a factorial of a number is the product of all the whole numbers, one up to and including that number. And the symbol for factorial notation is an exclamation symbol. So this is what it typically would look like. In example one, five factorial asks to evaluate that. So five factorial would equal the product of five times four times three times two times one. Now, you could take your calculator and go 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that's 120. So there's 120. Now, there is an easier way to do that. Um, all scientific calculators, pretty well, I don't think there's any exceptions that I'm aware of, have a factorial function on them. So I want to do 5 factorial. Now, in the Texas Instruments, it's usually in the math menu, and you go over to the probability. So we can actually just scroll across here. So there's the exclamation symbol for the factorial notation. So I want to hit number 4. And so that gives me the 120. So especially when the number gets really large, like 10 factorial, 20 factorial, something like that, uh, it's, it's a good idea to use that instead of going 1 times 2 times 3 up to the number. Now often, see, factorials can get fairly large fairly quickly. If you have a big factorial, like let's say 14 factorial, It's so large that the ca calculator can't write all the digits because it only displays so many. So this means the 8.7178.29, etc. means 8.7178, etc. times 10 to the power of 10 in this case. So it's actually the calculator is writing it in scientific notation. So if you get a large number, um, generally you don't write it like it dis is displayed in the calculator unless the calculator displays it nor in normal um, scientific notation. So for example, and I'm just going to write this one out, if uh, I wanted to write 14 factorial, So it's uh, 8.71, I'll, I'll round to uh, two decimal places. So 8.7, and this would be a 2 then, times 10, because it's in scientific notation, to the power of 10. So this after the e here, that's the exponent on the power of 10. So if we had a bigger one, like, uh, let's say, 18 factorial, for example. So that's 6.4, etc., times 10 to the power of 15. So in that case, the exponent up here would be a 15. So let's get rid of my writing. Go back to the arrow. So second example says calculate 8 factorial. So 8 factorial would be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And, uh, of course, we can go uh, back to the calculator just to evaluate this. And 8 factorial is 40,320. That's the last I'll need the calculator for, I think. So that's equal to 40,320. Now, I want to show you a few things, other things about factorial notation. So let's say, let's uh, write out the 8 factorial here again. Now, if you, in, if you talk about the numbers from 7 all the way down to 1 multiplied, then this part here is actually 7 factorial. So you actually could write 8 factorial is 8 times, and then this whole part here is 7 factorial. This is just the number 8. There's no factorial with this. It's just the number 8 times 7 factorial because I've replaced all of this part with 7 factorial. Similarly, let's say we wrote this again. If I wanted to just write out the from 6 down to 1 part as 6 factorial, then 8 factorial would be 8 times 7 times, and this whole part here would be 6 factorial. So that's one of the properties of factorial that's useful sometimes. Uh, that can be useful when you're trying to simplify expressions involving factorials. So 8 factorial can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Now let's say you have 
a variable instead of a number, like n or x or something like that. So what's n factorial? Well, just like over here, you start with this number and multiply it by, and notice that the 7 is 1 less than the 8, the 6 is 2 less than the 8, the 5 is 3 less than the 8, so you're just actually reducing the number by, by 1 each time. So to write out n factorial, it starts with n, just like this 8 factorial started with 8, and then the next number is going to be 1 smaller than this. So that, or actually, well, or 1 smaller than this number, that's the same number. So n minus 1, and then it'd be times n minus 2, so notice the third number is 2 smaller than this one, just like 6 is 2 smaller than 8. The next one would be n minus 3, okay, see the fourth number here is 3 smaller than the first number, just like 5 is 3 smaller than 8. And we could keep on going, n minus 4, n minus 5, etc. Generally what, well, what I'm going to do here, just write the first few terms and then the last, and the last terms would be you know, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 3 times 2 times 1, etc. Uh, if I want to stick a 4 or 5 in here, there's nothing wrong with that. So, but this shows that it's the product of all the numbers from 1 up to n in this case, because it's n factorial. Now, similar to what I was showing over here, from this term here, all the way down to 1, we could write that as n minus 1 factorial because it's the product of all the numbers from n minus 1 to 1 less than it times 1 less than it times 1 less than it all the way down to 1. So we could write this as n minus 1 factorial. So then n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. Uh, notice over here, for example, uh, 8 factorial was 8 times 7 factorial. So notice that this factorial is one less, the number beside the factorial is one less than this. Just like n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial, the n minus 1 in this factorial is one less than this n number. Similarly, if we wrote it the whole thing again, and one thing I want to point out here too, is if you have algebraic expressions here, you don't need to write all the multiplication signs. This is implied n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, etc. So, for example, the product of all the numbers of n minus 2 all the way down to 1, we could call that n minus 2 factorial. So, instead of writing n factorial like this, I could expand it out as, instead as n factorial is n, and the multiplication, again, is optional, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. So that's a little bit about factorial notation and how it's written out.